Zach is the most joyful person I know on earth. He brings so much happiness to people. Being around him shows me things I need to learn. He's an inspiration for me. The Brain Injury Association of America helped our son live. The fourth day of Zach's junior year of high school, he ran out the door saying, bye Peach, I love you, raced down the stairs. I didn't know that that would be the last time I would hear his natural voice. The surgeon said, the surgery that we need to do could lead to death or full recovery or anything in between. He was in his football uniform and unconscious. And we decided to kiss him, hug him, pray for him before they wheeled him away, not knowing if we'd ever see him again. It was amazing to actually be able to look into his eyes again. From the early days, we would sit in the hospital by his side or with guests, our friends and his who were coming by. But at night when I went home, I was flat on my face on the ground, just weeping, wailing. It was hard to sleep. I would go run and cry and pray for Zach while I was listening to his songs on his iPod. Walking faster than I am. <laughs> this one? Thank you. <laughs> because of the Brain Injury Association of America and because of Marilyn's work, Zach was able to gain as much as possible back from his brain injury. He got resources. We knew about schools funding for Zach that will go for his entire life. Please just give generously because I know so many families that are struggling and we need advocates. We need education. We need research and we need programs that help people with brain injuries to thrive in the world so that all families can have these opportunities that we have.